I'm not sure what to say. This is a very emotional time for me. I just want to thank all my customers for writing positive reviews about my business, which helped me stand out in Google and become the best plumber in London. I wouldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. Let me give you five good reasons why you must get online reviews from your customers. One, they will help your business rank higher in Google. Two, they really stand out in search engines due to their graphical representation. Three, almost eight in 10 customers read online reviews before they choose a local business. Four, positive online reviews are by far the best way to influence your customers. And five, 88% of customers say they trust online reviews from strangers as much as recommendation from their friends and family. So if your business doesn't have any golden stars yet, then it's time for you to collect them. Hi everyone and welcome to another free digital marketing lesson brought to you by rankingacademy.co.uk. My name is Luke Duran and by the end of this episode, you will know how to effectively implement an online strategy so you get online reviews from your customers and take your business to the next level. Step one, start with the biggest online review providers. There are many online review providers, but when it comes to local business reviews, there are only two major players users go to, Google and Yelp. Let's have a quick look at them. Open a browser window and head over to google.co.uk. In the search box, type a local query. For example, beauty salon in Fulham. Since this is a very localized search, Google displays its local pack results, which includes a map and three local businesses. Whenever available, Google will display for each business the average rating, the number of stars, and the number of reviews customers have posted. In this example, two of the businesses have reviews with a star rating of 4.4, while one of them doesn't have any. Which one would you click on? Needless to say that the listings with star ratings really stick out. Let's do a more in-depth search and type the name of one of these businesses directly in Google search. Let's use Svetlana Beauty Salon. As part of the results, Google will display the Google business page results of Svetlana Beauty Salon, which includes little snippets of some of the reviews customers have posted. Here, you can see that one of the reviews is very negative. As a prospect customer, I am not sure I will want to go there based on this. Clicking on View All Google Reviews brings a pop-up where all reviews posted about this particular business have been listed. I can quickly see that a negative review was posted two years ago, and the more recent ones have five stars, which may sway my decision. Let's use another example and type Plumber in Fulham this time. Look at the number of reviews for the top result. 103 with an average star rating of 4.7. Would you hire these guys simply based on this? Hell yeah! This type of behavior has become extremely common when consumers are searching for local businesses. Since Google is still and will be the main search engine for the foreseeable future, you cannot ignore it. Having those coveted stars right below your listing will certainly fill prospective customers with confidence. The first thing you will need to do is to create a Google My Business profile. For more information on this topic, just view my tutorial on how to add your business to Google Map and how to optimize Google My Business. Once done, you will have to encourage your customers to leave reviews about your business. We will cover this in step four. Now, let's move to the second biggest online review provider, Yelp. Open a browser window and head over to www.yelp.co.uk. Let's do the same search that we did in Google a few minutes ago, Beauty Salon in Fulham. The top result is Svetlana Beauty Salon. Having a listing on Yelp is very important for three reasons. One, with millions of visitors every month, it is the largest and most popular review site and focuses on local businesses. Two, Google displays results from Yelp into its own local results in organic. Third, as for the third reason, head over to bing.com, bing.com slash maps preview. And in the search box type Svetlana Beauty Salon. Look at where the reviews are coming from. Yes, Yelp. Although Google and Yelp 
are the most important online review sites, you mustn't focus specifically on them. It is important to get reviews from a variety of sources. When people search for local services, seeing reviews about your business on multiple sites will have a lot more influence. It will also look a lot more natural to search engines. Let's see how it's done. Head over to google.co.uk. In the search box, type a query as follows. Your industry type or trade, plus the word reviews. Let's use the following combination, plumber reviews, and look at the results, starting from the top. Checkatrade.com. This is a site dedicated to people in the building trade, obviously. Their business model seems to be entirely based on a review system. Let's head over there and check them out. Searching for plumbers in Chelsea brings up a list of plumbers in that area. And guess what? They are listed based on a number of reviews and the average rating they get. I bet you Chelsea Plumbing and Heating get a lot of business through checkatrade.com. Trustatrader.com. Here is another review based site. It's very similar to checkatrade.com. Once again, you can see the importance of reviews in the listings. These sites are very industry specific as they focus on the building trade with a business model that seems to rely very heavily on their review system. I'm not a plumber, but if I was, I would definitely consider being on these sites and start collecting some feedback alongside with new work opportunities. Let's try another one for good measure and search hairdresser reviews. Notice the presence of local business directories such as Yale.com in position number one as well as freeindex.co.uk in number two. Getting a listing in these along with recommendations will be very useful as their results generally rank high in Google search results. And in position number four there is a site called wahonda.com. This site which relies heavily on reviews is specific to the hair and beauty trade so if I was a hairdresser I would quickly try to get listed there and start gathering some reviews. We've now identified the best sources where we would like, hopefully, positive reviews to be posted about our business. 85% of consumers will trust a business once they have read around 10 reviews. This means that your target is to get at least 10 reviews to satisfy about 85% of your customers. According to research, you'll also need around one and a half times your local competitors' reviews to rank higher than them. The question is, how do we get customers to post reviews? Step 3. Get reviews from your customers. Let's start with two golden rules if you want to get golden stars. Provide excellent customer service. Sounds obvious? Not for everyone. People will be naturally inclined to post a review if you're nice to them. Second golden rule. Do not incentivize or pay to get reviews or you will get caught. You will destroy your business reputation and in the worst case scenario might even get prosecuted. It's not worth it. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to make it easy for your customers to leave reviews. How? Set up a page on your site that is dedicated to reviews with links to your cho chosen review sites. Google and Yelp must be part of your list along with another couple of other sites. Your link should look like mywebsite.com slash reviews. Let's see a few examples. Head over to www.mikeandersonchevymerivale.com slash reviews. This is a very good example as it makes it easy for customers to leave a review. Starting with the preferred choice and most influential review site, Google, followed by the second most influential review site, Yelp, and finishing with some industry specific sites. Does all of this ring a bell? Here is another example. Head over to certifiedrestorationinc.com slash testimonials dash customer dash reviews. This is a different option which puts forward existing reviews by the means of video testimonials. It makes the message very powerful and very credible. There is also at the bottom of the page a selection of different review sites which should encourage customers to post reviews. I think a combination of both examples would be the ultimate review page. And now, for your eyes only, an example of what not to do. Go to www.cdeclarity.com slash about slash reviews. This 
is a perfect example of incentivizing reviews. Needless to say, do not do it. You can now start encouraging people to visit your newly created page. Add a see what they say or customer feedback link across your web pages pointing to mywebsite.com slash reviews where you can display a combination of testimonials and links to your chosen review sites. Add the mywebsite.com slash reviews link to all your email communication as it will get picked up along the way. Hand out a thank you for your visit or thank you for your purchase card to your customers where you can also feature the link. Put your link on your stationery such as business cards. Automatically generate the link to your invoices or receipt. And if you send a monthly newsletter, don't forget to add your review link on it. If you have some loyal customers, simply ask them to post some feedback either by email or by phone. Be careful when you do so as you cannot ask for Yelp reviews since it is against their guidelines. Always check guidelines from the review size you have chosen to use. Let's have a look at a great email example. Go to bluementhols.com slash blog slash 2012 slash 09 slash 24 slash asking for reviews post apocalypse. It is very simple, not pushy, and gives several options where customers can leave feedback. Feel free to use it at will and customize for your needs. If you use these techniques, you will definitely start seeing reviews being posted in no time and hopefully get those little stars in Google. But don't rub your hands so quickly as not everyone will give you a 5 star rating. You need to manage your reviews. Ok, let's face it. You can't please everyone and you will get some bad reviews and that's fine since only good reviews would look untrusting. So what do you need to do? Address and own the issue as quickly as possible. It will show you care and you are willing to fix the problem. Have a look at this one. Not only the owner was very obnoxious in his response, but he almost blames the customer. Worst response ever, not owning the issue at all and unfortunately for him, it's right at the top of the review list. Make sure your response is well written with no spelling or grammatical error and in a professional manner. In this instance, although the manager quickly acknowledged the customer's review, I think he should have taken the time to get his response verified before it was posted. There are a lot of grammatical errors along with spelling mistakes. Not great at all. Describe what you are doing to fix the problem so it will not happen to future customers. Have a look at this restaurant located in London. Quick response and the owner has clearly made changes based on customers review to fix issues for future customers. She reacted almost immediately, owning the problem and inviting the customer back for a free meal. Pretty spot on. Do not use pre-written answers. Make it personal. Have a look at this one. No personalization. Just a copy and paste job that says, I can't be bothered. Make sure your replies are honest and genuine. OK, we are done. Final words. Online reviews is not a one-off marketing tactic, but a continuous effort. As in real life, you would want permanent, satisfied clients and not just for a few weeks. Allocate a regular slot in your schedule to see what your customers are saying about you and encourage them to post some positive reviews. You won't regret it and it will certainly help put your business on the map. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you soon for a new session at rankingacademy.co.uk.